Okay, in this problem, what we're going to do is find the mass of Jupiter by looking at the distance and the time of orbit of one of its moons, Io. So I'm going to draw a picture first when I read this problem. So we've got Jupiter right here, and it has some mass, and this is what we're trying to find. And we're told that its moon, Io, is orbiting at some distance, r, away from it. And it's moving around, and... The mass of Io, we're not told what that is. We're told that the radius of the orbit, r, is equal to 4.22 times 10 to the fifth kilometers. And we're told the time of orbit is 1.77 days. Now, how can we figure out the um, mass of Jupiter from this? Well, we can use Newton's universal law of gravity. And so what we're going to do is say that there's this force holding that moon in. That is equal to its mass times acceleration. What is the force? Well, we'll use Newton's universal law of gravitation on that side and on this side, like this. So this is the acceleration. Again, this force right here, what we're computing is the centripetal force that's holding it in, which just is the universal law of gravitation. It's given by that. Notice that the little m's cancel out. And so I have g times m over r squared, and that is equal to the acceleration. We know if it's moving in an approximately circular orbit, it's v squared over r. And so what we can do is its velocity is going to be equal to the distance that it travels divided by the time it takes to go around. So we'll go like this, and that's g times m over r squared. We want to solve for m right here, so I'm going to start moving stuff around and simplifying it. So the mass of Jupiter is going to be equal to, let's square the top, so I'll have 4 pi squared r squared. I'll have a t squared in the denominator and a r left over down there. I've got to move this r squared up, so I've got another r squared, and then I have the g down here. So the mass is going to be equal to 4 pi squared r to the fourth over r is r cubed over g times t squared. Now I'm going to have to just plug in some numbers here, so I'm going to pause the video and plug in some numbers and I'll get right back to you. Okay, I plugged in some numbers and when I plug them in I get that the mass of Jupiter is 1.9 times 10 to the 27th kilograms. Okay, I have no idea if that's right, so let me take a moment to look it up on another computer. So let's look up what is the mass of Jupiter. Just give me one second. Mass of Jupiter. And according to um, solar system nasa.gov, I find that the um, volume surface gravity rats. It's not easy to see this. Let's just go back to Wikipedia, do something like that. So according to Wikipedia, the mass of Jupiter is 1.9 times 10 to the 27th kilograms, which lo and behold, that's what we got. So that's looking pretty good.